attacking his victims supernaturally from within their own dreams and nightmares, Freddy Krueger was responsible for ensuring that no teenager would sleep through the night after watching A Nightmare on Elm Street. This is just a dream, he isn't real! He isn't real! 1984's A Nightmare on Elm Street is a horror classic that launched many sequels and made serial killer Freddy into a legendary character. One of the genre's scariest villains, the way in which his victims were killed in their dreams is the way they met their demise. One of his victims even included a young Johnny Depp. 2003 saw the ultimate showdown as Freddy joined forces with evil killer Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th in the horror extravaganza Freddy vs. Jason. Welcome to my night. With 17 sequels and over 1,700 corpses to their names, it had been 19 years since Freddy stalked Elm Street. In between, the classic horrors have descended into laughable plot lines, but horror fans are a forgiving lot and the demonic characters are still much loved. Actor Robert England has played Freddy since the character's 1984 debut and gained international cult stardom as the menacing villain. From the moment Robert donned the makeup and the now famous red and green striped jumper and metal clawed glove for the first time, Freddy Krueger soon became a household name and it was this role that got people's attention. And I never thought, I mean I was always going to be Robert England, you know, the anonymous character actor. I had a nice little career going, and then Wes Craven, you know, plucked me from the crowd, <laughs> piled la foam latex all over me, and everybody finally learned my name. So it's this bizarre irony, you know, that covered up with four and a half hours of makeup every morning, people finally learned the name Robert England. A villain that was agile, intelligent, and vicious, Freddy took center stage, and with him, a new era of horror films dawned. This knife-wielding character reinvented the stalker genre like no other film had before. Ranked at number 40 on the American Film Institute's Heroes and Villains list, what makes Freddy so scary is that there's virtually no way to stop him. How do you resist sleep? Freddy vs. Jason was a box office hit and saw Freddy scaring a new generation of teenagers destined to become insomniacs. As long as his victim was dreaming, Freddy could inhabit and control them. He often toyed with his victims by changing his surroundings, usually resembling the boiler room where he got his famous scars. In this film, Jason is a little too enthusiastic about his work, and Freddy showed his displeasure with the machete-wielding giant stealing his thunder. I've got these dream kills. They're not counting them. He gets all his reality kills, but just because I kill somebody while they're having a nightmare, it don't count. Does that sound fair to you? Huh? Freddy vs. Jason once again revisits the residents of the area around Camp Crystal Lake. In order to defeat Freddy, parents locked away children who survived his wrath and gave them a drug that prevents dreaming. Freddy needs fear to bring him back to life, so he finds Jason in hell and tricks him into launching a new killing spree. Not strong enough yet. Until then, <laughs> I'll let Jason have some fun. Decades since Freddy Krueger invaded the dreams of a generation to exact his deadly form of revenge and murder, he is still one of the scariest villains of all time. And before you go to sleep, remember, Freddy's coming for you. Ah!